10 Journaling Tips for Beginners Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stationery Pals video. I know that you've always wanted to start journaling, or maybe you've tried but don't know where to start. In today's video, I'm going to give you 10 tips that might give you some ideas on how to begin or give you a fresh start if you're already feeling discouraged. Tip number one, start small and keep your expectations realistic. When you first start journaling, you don't need to set too many goals or set those that are too ambitious. We can use a day as a unit and it is important to set achievable goals for yourself that are realistic in terms of number and feasibility to prevent your confidence from being affected. Tip number two, you don't have to write first thing in the morning. Some of us prefer to get up early in the morning with a clear mind to make plans for the day. While others want to make long-term plans at the end of the day, or late at night when it's quiet. We shouldn't set a strict time limit for journaling. As a beginner, we just have to find a time that suits us and will also help us develop the habit of journaling. Tip number three, keep a journal handy in your bag. Always keep your journal with you so you can make plans and take notes wherever you are. For example, while waiting for a friend in a cafe, you can take out your notebook and prepare for the conversation, make some simple plans, or even mark down the ideas that suddenly pop into your head. Making the most of your time can be achieved by keeping a journal always within reach. Pen and paper are also great ways to keep you away from the distractions of electronic devices. Tip number four, all you need is pen and paper. Do you feel overwhelmed when you see all the beautiful designs and various ideas using stationery coming out of Instagram and Pinterest? Or do you wonder if your journals are not good enough? Or do you feel anxious or discouraged that you're not up to that level? Forget all those complicated techniques and get back to basics. Remember, the goal from the start is to get into the habit of using journals and to enjoy the benefits of a more structured life with them. So there's no need to complicate things. Grab a pen and paper from your desk and start taking notes and making plans for yourself today. Tip number five, choose a smaller notebook. Dotted A5 is almost perfect. If you want to start journaling, a notebook is pretty essential. But with such a wide variety of notebooks available, which one is the most ideal for beginners? Trust me when I say that an A5 dotted notebook is the best option for you. Because A5 notebooks are very small, you can carry them easily in your laptop bag, or folder wherever you go and use them whenever you want. Oversized notebooks can be frustrating because we might not have enough content at the beginning, so we give up. The A5 has moderately sized pages, so it's perfect even if you don't have a lot of information to keep track of. What is the purpose of the dotted notebook? Dotted notebooks have lots of advantages. For example, by connecting the dots, you don't need a ruler anymore to make straight lines. Dotted notebooks also provide structure without making the layout look messy. To put it simply, a dot notebook is a blank page with a built-in autopilot. Check it out for yourself. Tip number six, choose Stationery Pals color scheme pen sets. We understand that choosing the right pen as a beginner can be difficult since there are so many options on the market. Stationery Pal understands how it feels, 
which is why our in-house artists created these eight pen sets for 2022. These eight pen sets have been selected carefully to include a gel pen, marker, and highlighter. So feel free to use these sets of pens on your journal pages to make your journals look better. They are affordable and meet most of your everyday writing needs. I totally recommend them. Tip number seven, experiment with different kinds of stationery. Of course, you can begin your journal with just a pen and some paper, but you can also try to experiment with the different types of stationery available. For example, you can use glue tape to attach memorable pictures to your journal or thin washi tape to add color to your journal. Instead of making your own, you can find a large number of sticky notes with very beautiful drawings. All you need to do is cut it out and use it as a base for our creation with the daily Polaroid photos, tickets, or receipts. You can greatly beautify your journal. Well, now that your attitude and stationery are ready, we can start journaling. Are you wondering what exactly you should write about? Tip number eight, start with a to-do list. Still undecided about what to write in your journal? Don't worry, just follow my tips. I'm sure you have something to do every day, don't you? Begin your journal with a to-do list. First, draw three boxes or circles, then write down the tasks that need to be done and check the boxes when you're finished. A simple to-do list can make our lives more organized. Tip number nine, brain dump. If you have completed the to-do list in the upper half of a page, what should you fill in for the bottom half? Brain dump will be a good choice for you because there are no requirements for this part. This section is for life, ideas, inspirations, hobbies, and emotional outpourings. Look how your journal is improving. Tip number 10, gratitude log. I knew you weren't satisfied with the most basic journal entries, so why not try keeping a gratitude journal? Every night, write down at least one line about something you're grateful for. This is not only a worthwhile topic, but it will help you notice the good things around you more quickly throughout the day. These are some of the most basic, entry-level tips for journaling. If you have any questions about journaling, please leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, you will also enjoy my 10 ways to use your dotted notebook. Click here and check the video out. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I will see you in the next one. Bye.